Hello my shinies, my name is Sevenico47. Welcome back to some more Gloomhaven. So last last we left off, we unlocked the enchantment. Which means it's time for enchanting. So let's take a look at one of our uh, cards right here. So what we want is to upgrade the cards that we use frequently. And the higher level the card, the more expensive they are. For example, if I were to upgrade Cranium Overload, like here, it's going to cost us 230 gold. Like, like these. 330. Ooh. Extremely expensive and generally not worth it. So yeah, if I want to increase this by 1, it'll be 50 gold. And then if I want to move and generate any element I want, 120 so it gets more expensive and if i were to example upgrade this card then if i want to upgrade here the attack 2 it's going to be even more expensive so yeah what we really want is to upgrade to upgrade cards like uh, the lower level ones like for example frigid apparition hmm, i can upgrade this one but we're not using it right now. Like normally, I we're going to uh, retire VV anyway, so I'll probably not going to upgrade anything. Feedback loop. Like, yeah, I can I can increase it by one. Mine's weak. Scurry. I could increase this one. Perverse edge. Not so good. Scurry though. Hmm. Ooh, and wound. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's going to be so powerful. Hey, you know what? We have money. Let's do it. There, see? Precious. So now I'm going to attack, causing 1 damage and wound. Now if I want to... I kind of forgot. <laughs> the plus movement wasn't 40 gold before, wasn't it? So yeah, now it's more expensive. Have I blessed item? Okay, so... Yeah, ex Enchanting is so expensive that I don't have enough money to upgrade anymore. Meanwhile, I kind of need the money to buy equipments first. You know what? Never mind. Uh, our scoundrel actually is fully decked uh, with equipment. So I guess we can actually enchant something. But I'm not exactly sure what. Oh, for this one. Yeah, I remember this. Invisible and then strengthen. This is incredibly powerful. Let's see what else. Invisible. Ooh. Oh, 120. Oh, we need this so much. 120. Invisible self and then strengthen yourself. Oh my gosh, that is incredibly powerful. Now, if I can just add poison here as well, it's going to be ultra powerful. Ah. Uh. And for example, here, hidden daggers, I can plus the range or plus the target. Cost 100 gold. Oh my gosh, it's so expensive. Yeah, I'm just rambling at this point. I, I can also add wound, right? Yeah. So imagine, can you imagine? Target 3, damage 4, wounding everything. Like, dude, that's OP. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we don't have the gold. Sad. But, yeah, we really need strengthen above all else. Heal and strengthen self. Wow. Yeah, I remember that. We can heal and then bless or strengthen the person. Like, he, uh, this one. Like, I can strengthen two? What the heck is strengthen two? In any case, I can strengthen and bless. 
So this one heal three, you get, you get, you also strengthen and bless whoever gets heal, whoever gets, whoever you target. This arm, this arm and wound all target enemies. Oh my gosh, that's going to be so OP. This one shield strengthen or plus shield. Oh my gosh, yeah, can't wait. But we need money, money. Anyways, I've been rambling all too much. Oh, see the encounter. So yeah, let's just go and continue. You are attending to you are attending to business in the sinking market when a frail, white-haired woman approaches you and grabs you by the arm. Oh my, don't you look strong? She says. Could you possibly assist me with a small problem I am having in my cellar? Her eyes grow narrow. Rats! So many rats! I don't know where they're coming from, but they are a right nuisance. Ruined three jars of preserves just yesterday. She tugs weakly at your sleeve. Please, can you help me? Decline to help the woman. <gasps> Why decline? It's rats. Agree to help with the rat infestation. Two gold each. Yes, money! You smile bro broadly and ask the woman to lead you to her house. It is a ramshackle dwelling half sunk into the muddy foundation, and inside there, and inside there are certainly a lot of rats. You kill as many as you can, but in her cellar, you find a large hole leading to a section of sewer that recently collapsed, leaving the past with nowhere else to go. The woman thanks thanks you for at least helping her to be able to sleep tonight and hands you a few coins. Yep, that's good. Money's always uh money's always good. Okay, nobody. <sighs> fine. You don't get extra perks, but it's fine. You can just go. Okay, um Vibrant Grotto. Get heal to help you locate Jack Sarah. Hmm. This these looks easy. These look easy. Uh oh. The enemies are level 3 now. Oh no. Temple of the Seer. Bear, living spirit, spitting drake, stone golem. This this is doable. This is, should be easy. Small item. I don't have enough money. And he needs something else. Yeah. We can do this one. Mr. Spot to direct to Jack Sarah. Locate Jack Sarah. Mm -hmm -hmm. Harrower. Ah, oh, these are scary. No, I don't want to fight them. Not yet. Yeah, Temple of the Seer. Let's do it. You reach out to some of your contacts concerning Jexera's location and end up with an odd bit of information from the Sanctuary of the Great Oak. They say there is a temple high in the Watcher Mountains dedicated to some unseen force that can answer any questions asked of it. Visitors must survive the journey and the trials that await in the temple first, however. It is a tradition among the Order of the Great Oak to send its members on a pilgrimage to this temple we are faced with the prospect of any knowledge they desire, they decline to ask a question, putting all their trust in the Great Oak instead. The Sanctuary provides you with some basic directions, and you head off. While your path is clear, the way is anything but easy. Okay, uh, I suppose, let me just say, I'm just gonna read through stuff, so if you want to read dialogues like that again, you're just gonna have to pause the video because it's too long. As you cross a hill, you see a flock of Karen birds scattered to the east. They must have been feasting on something. You so you decide to investigate. After a short walk, you come upon a man's corpse, badly decayed and mangled, lying in the dirt. His face is a bloody mess, but you do see a distinctive chain around his neck and recall the description of the man from the sleeping lion gave you of his brother. This is very likely him. Bury the man yourself don't tell the brother this might give me poison but i'm gonna do it oh never mind yes reputation is so good yes oh that's good never mind 
Not wanting to tell the brother that you left the corpse out in the sun to rot, you take the time to dig a hole and give it a proper burial. When you bring the chain back, the brother is understandably distraught, but he thanks you for giving him closure about what happened. Plus two reputation! Yes! That's so good! That's so good! Yes! You risk falling to your death numerous times as you scale the cliff up to the temple. I'm going to skip this. Braving the harsh winds and loose rocks, you finally reach the top and head through the threshold into a large open foyer. Up. Yep. Sorry, because it's taking too long. Kill three or fewer monsters. No way. Your health is equal to two or less? Are you kidding me? How? Three or fewer. Oh my gosh. Fine. Kill three or fewer. Take only long rest. Yeah, easy. Allow none of your allies. Yeah, sure. Gain seven or fewer? No way. Use no items. No way. Game, don't do this to me. Ah. It's worth it though. Seven or fewer. This guy has a lot of cards that gives me EXP. No, no. Do no harm. Even do no harm gives me EXP. Are you kidding? Why? Both of them gives two proc points still. Yikes. Uh, I used to item. Uh, uh. Curative mix also gives me XP. Uh, why? Fine. Use no item. I might still use my item, but I guess it's better than not getting EXP. Oh my gosh. So no boots, no stamina potion, and no recover their stamina potion. I'll try. If it's too difficult, then I'll use it. I'll try. I'll try. I know, I know, the voice says. You have questions, I have answers. Unfortunately, if you don't leave now, you won't have a head to ask the questions in the... You ready your weapons. There's no way you're going to climb back down that cliff with nothing to show for it. Yeah, definitely not doing that. One, two, three, one, two. I can't really pull. Init shield two? Init shield three? Excuse me? Well, at least both of them can be stunned, so I'm not too scared. Oh, and they're just elite golems. Okay, should be easy. We're just gonna have to engage in what I like to call a stamina battle. First of all, you are going to do first aid and precaution. Or not. Or maybe attack and... Or I can just immediately kill this little girl. But no. No, we're not gonna do that. Um, move and heal. Wow. is key hmm hmm prevention is key and then do something like hamstring or try it one two three four five right yeah one two three four five then just <laughs> just disarming both wow and then I'll try to move slower special mixture and open wound that's good. Special mixture and open wound. Then I'm also going to try and wound something. Ooh, scurry. Oh my gosh. No, no. She already has jagged sword, so. Mm, feedback loop. And mind sweetness. No. Uh. Dark Frenzy? No. I need Mind's Weakness right away. Oh, th oh, this works. Yeah. Move 3, attack 3, and then Mind's Weakness. Okay, let's do that. Okay, please. What are you going to do? 
Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, this thing is going to try and attack Mindy. Because I will be disarming two golems. Okay, so I guess. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. I'm gonna attack this one. Just do it. Plus two. Okay, so now I'm gonna do mine's weakness. Doing this and this. Just going to pokey pokey. Pokey pokey. Good. And bloop. And now do this. Stand here. And then disarm everything. Aha! Ow. Oh, I don't need to move anyways. Move here. Then poisoning this one. And, yeah. Uh and uh This one will slowly die. And I know exactly what to do next. This one is definitely going to do syringe, stunning one of them, and then bloody saw. Wound. Meanwhile, you is going to do Trickster's Reveal. Yeah. Uh flanking strike. No. Trickster's reveal. Trickster's the reveal and single out. Uh, meanwhile, you are going to do brain leech and pokey this one and this one this one and this one I gotta make sure I move first uh, yep okay. Ooh, attack 5 but at least they're attacking with disadvantage yikes that hurts that's gonna hurt that is going to hurt Strengthen. I mean, you go, I go, go. Yeah, sure, why not? Attacking with advantage. Now I'm strengthening myself. Now my next attack, which is this one. Attacking with advantage. Bless! Times two. Yo! Kill three or fewer. Oh no. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Next time, suffer no damage. Aha! Screw you. You. Bam. Three. It's still something. Okay, now for you, I am going to definitely do this. Oh, wait. Do I want to stun? Who to stun? Uh, who to stun? Well, now here's the thing. If I stun this one, I can do more damage with wound, but. I suppose it's not worth it? Question mark? Fine. Ooh, plus two rolling modifier. There it is. Rolling modifier. Plus two and then I draw another attack card. Bloody so Times two! Wow, the luck. Wow, the luck. He's attacking this one. Ow. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, good. Why oh, I can stun this one, lol. Uh okay, sure, why not? Then why? What to do? What to do? Reverse edge. Attack 4. 
three attack flash. Flanking strike again. This one half. Now I have to stay here, unfortunately, because I can't. Sawbones is gonna get hit if I don't. So I'm just gonna skip. Alright, I'm stunning this one. I'm dumb. Uh, yeah, I don't want to try and attack them because they deal zero damage, anyways. It's going to. Oh, wait, it gives me EXP. The thing is, I don't want to waste my attack modifiers. If I suddenly get times two or bless, I want to save it for the next room. So you to cure myself. Yes, but yes, dice. Good, 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 good. Money, money. I want money. Bling. Invisible. Invisible, and then I'm going to long rest. Skip. Heal. Money for me. Still three gold, even though it's counted level three. Now this one is curry and to the night. This one long rest, but she's invisible. And this one, <sighs> not sure. <laughs> uh, you know what? Nah, I'm going to do that. Stop. Wait. Visible first. I'm definitely using my boots. Confirm. Let's open. Who can we wound? Kill three or fewer monsters. All right. She killed them. You open the door to the inner chamber, and more enemies materialize before your eyes. Flying red lizards. Wailing spirits and great terrifying bears that don't seem at all happy to have been suddenly transported here Yeah, so here's the deal. I am definitely going to use Cranium overload here because this place is dangerous Look at this 20 elite bear has 20 HP Heal self ah, I was going to wound this one that's why I hate it when they can when they can heal. Now here's the thing: if I stop here and long rest here, 
everything that's not flying is just going to end their turn. Meanwhile, everyone up here, these enemies are going to try and go through this door. So I'm, I need to decide. Do I want to stay here or do I want to wound one of the bears? Now, it's going to depend on their movement speed. Now, if you can see over here, they all move four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah. I really would like to wound this, but if it's going to heal itself, then it's going to heal its wound back. It's so annoying. <sighs> if I move here, this bear is going to move over here. One, two, three, four. One, two. If I see one, two, three, four. This one. One, two. Fine, I'm gonna attack the bear. Skip. Attack. Four damage. Ah, oh, four damage would have killed this spirit. Pressing R button rotates. Okay, good. Nice vaccine. Take your vaccine for coronavirus, bear. Ooh, scary. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nice. How much damage? Five. I cannot afford to take that hit. Attack three, range three, poison everything and muddle everything. Yeah, oh my gosh. Either run or go invisible again. Or smoke bomb. Yeah, I can just smoke bomb. Swift bow and smoke bomb. Uh, special mixture and smoke bomb. Attack six, move five, move and curse. She's not level 3 or 4 yet, right? I, I really need that that card that says move and attack with all advantage. Next round. This round, you, all your attacks 
You attack with advantage. I really need that card. Oh, hi. Hello. I can definitely stun you next round. <laughs> Stupid idiot. Ah, look at that. They're, ooh, they're standing right next to each other. That is perfect. But I kind of need to cranium overload the, the spitting drakes. Technically, uh, this is an easy scenario. I'm going to win this eventually. Perverse Edge, Hostile Takeover, uh, Dark Frenzy, Mass Hysteria, Muddle, Hostile Takeover is the one. I can Hostile Takeover. It's like I can Hostile Takeover the the spitting drake or something hmm feedback loop i might throw away this one actually no sometimes i want to go slow mass hysteria is bad yeah okay heal i don't need vaccine Triage, Hamster. Triage. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Prevention is key. Or should I just wound? Bloody saw. Ooh, bloody saw. Oh, I like that. Stun and. <laughs> okay, wow. Syringe. Mm, if I do bloody saw, I, can, I guess I can do something else. I really want to do my hidden daggers but then I will lose my only invisible self card which is scary okay so I guess I have no choice but to do something like yeah, uh, open wound and where's my special mixture oh, I need that card oh it's already poison never mind never mind forget to say anything uh single up med pack med pack what i really want to kill is this one to be honest instead of this one but oh my gosh hidden dagger is too good because it's times two damage and with advantage Let's see, if I actually use hidden daggers, who can I hit? Only two targets, never mind. Then it sucks. Damn, son. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh gosh, game. Uh, it's not good, not good. Cranium. Do I want to kill something right now? This one, maybe? Cranium and probably into the night again. Sure, why not? Poison model attack four. Attack five, see? If only I do because I really need to be invisible this this turn I, I can just use cloak and visibility ah, oh well. so just going to kill this one right away okay well now I'm gonna use this one I'm gonna attack with advantage to both of them Oh, that's very little damage. 
kill three or fewer monster. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh, rip. Did I fail the battle goal? I think I did. <laughs> oh well. Ah. <sighs> I was gonna use the boot. Attacking with advantage. Ooh, oh, yes! I'm invisible again! Yes, good. Now I don't have to use my cloak on invisibility. Ah, oh, perfect. I'm gonna need open wound back. Special mixture. Or special mixture. Something's wrong. Ah, I may need to save scum. It says rolling modifier with invisible, but see, something's wrong. Like the I, I don't know if the game is still bugged or or not. Like yeah, I have no choice. Really sorry, I'm gonna have to save scum because the game is weird that. If in in the board game, if I pull a rolling modifier invisible, I'm supposed to go invisible, but it didn't right there. So it kind of messes up with my strategy. So it's it's dumb. It's bullcrap. Like should I even use that perk anymore next time? You see, uh, yeah. So I'm not gonna cheat while. Doing something like hostile takeover would have been better in this particular situation. I'm just gonna do the same thing I did last time because I am not a cheater. Open wound and medpack. Medpack. And then syringe and bloody saw. I'm going to redo what it, the thing we did before. Cranium overload this one. As you can see, the bear does not move because she is blocking the way. Okay, stunning you. Uh, item re refresh, but I can't use item. Plus two. Yes, 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 yes. Plus two. Yes, you did. You did. You so did. Oh, they're not even moving. Ow! And stun! What? Okay, that's brutal. Uh oh. Ah, oh, time still, you kidding me? Yeah, I, I need to kill that thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of damage. A living spirit doing that much damage? That's bull. Okay, feedback loop, I have no choice. And I'm going to... I have no choice but to go slow, otherwise... She's going to take... Oh, She's going to be in a lot of hurt next turn if she doesn't. 
feedback loop and then I am going to attack something and wound it or actually huh dark frenzy I mean hostile takeover feedback loop and hostile takeover uh, and then I'm gonna purposely go very 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 slow this one as for him he can't do anything because he's stunned oh my gosh gosh yeah. oh my gosh they're all attacking him again oh my gosh no I might I might need to burn another card. Yeah, I'm burning another card. Oh my gosh. Oh. That's crazy. It's because of that damn stun. It consumed ice to stun me. Thank goodness they're slow. Stun? Oh boy. Oh boy. Yes, go. My friend. Go stun your friend. <laughs> and I'm going to attack this. Just pokey pokey. Pokey pokey. And I'm going to be invisible myself because she is going to get stunned if she doesn't. Should I into the night? Yeah, into the night and strengthen self. Wait. Not into the night. No, it's okay. Yeah, I, I kind of need that invisible card. for range attack Ugh. Ugh. yeah this one yes three minus two one damage come on spitting drake nice good oh my gosh the spitting drakes are really annoying more annoying than I thought stun and, and scurry bring leech dark frenzy oh gosh what is this strategy Hamstring, but I need to heal myself too. Oh, my gosh, that damage! Oh, here. Now, I really, really, really hoping this is going to hit. 
Yes! Yes! Plus one. Okay. If that's a critical fail... What are they doing? Attack six! Dude! What is this? Move to attack six, range five. What? Attack five. And then muddle. <laughs> I need to stun this thing. Like no choice. Then I will go all the way back here. Ooh, bless! Okay, good. It's gonna die in two times. This with advan a disadvantage. Wait, 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 wait. Healing myself. But it's fine though. Even if she, like, if Vivi takes a times two damage and supposedly dies i can just burn a car we're still gonna win i'm gonna one shot this elite spitting drake with that op card that he has oh see times two i called it time damage you're kidding me game dark frenzy Oh, never mind. It's it can move, apparently. Okay, into the Night Green Leech. And then this one is going to. Tricksters reveal hidden dagger. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, fine. Actually, I think she's going to long rest. No, uh, she needs to hidden dagger first. Long rest. Long rest, yeah. Attack three, range four. Okay, good. Invisible. With disadvantage, I. Action. Stun. Beautiful. Oh wait, disadvantage. So it, it doesn't take the, the stun because of the disadvantage. Yeah, no problem. I just need you to come closer. Come closer to me and die. What are you doing? Stop thinking so long. Just do your turn. One, two, three, come on. Yeah, do it. There we go. That one is dead. This one can move. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now I'm confused. How can this one attack Sawbones actually? There's supposedly there's no line of sight. The door is here. If you if you pull a line from here to here. Oh, it can hit, actually. Yes. <laughs> Oddly, you can. That's... That's annoying. Oh, well. Uh... Precaution. Curative mixture. Bloody soft. Precaution can go. Okay, uh, we're almost going to win. We're definitely going to win. It's just that it's, it's still annoying. Burn Swift Bow. 
She can definitely take it next turn. Now what I really want to do is... His battle goal is what? Use no item. Okay, good. Uh, I need the uh, 6 movement or something. How many movement to reach that thing? 1, 2, 3. 3 movement. I need curative mix. Oh, I need that. Do no harm. Disarm first, I guess. Disarm. No, I kind of have to. Ugh, fine. Fine, fine game, fine. I'm going to do this and this. Kill one elite enemy. Straight up. Just straight up. Straight up murder them. There's review. I'm not sure what to do. They're too far. Yeah, okay, whatever. It's fine. Yes, they are slow this time, this round. Good. Oh, it's right here. But I don't want to kill it yet. In that case, I want money. I should not have taken out my swift bow. <laughs> but uh, it's okay, I'm not shooting anything anyways. I'm gonna move here in hopes that this one attacks Scoundrel instead of him. I'm gonna attack this one anyways, just because I can. Ooh, times two. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Now then, I really need this one, so that means I'm doing this one. Okay. Skip. Dead. Uh, uh, skip. And then attack and dead. Do no harm! Bad dragon. And then I'm kind of stunned next time. I can still heal. Minus one. Aha. That's what you get. Heal, heal. Perverse edge. Maybe. Feedback loop. Feedback loop. Should I? Yes. Huh, I guess I can perverse edge and scurry. Right? Stun? No. No, no, no. I cannot risk getting a times two or the, the plus two to damage. So, yeah, I'm just going to just, just move towards the chest. I have boots. One, two, three, four, five. I have boots. Rested. In that case, I want to loot. Can I loot? I can loot. Loot. Where's my loot come? It's in the bottom. <laughs> Throwing knives. Uh, in that case, I'm, I'm still going to loot stuff. Discarded all of my. L okay, fine. I'll loot. Loot. Attack two and stun. Wow. Ha! Jokes on you. I'm stunning you. 
Aha! Plus two. Aha! See, I told you. So technically... Wait, where's Curry? Save scum. <laughs> I forgot to take Scurry. Damn, son. <laughs> this is why safe scumming exists. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Silly old me. I'm sorry. I apologize. I would have screwed myself over. This is Iron Man mode. Well, not really because I can just replay this stage and just right away go here and take the chest. But yeah, so basically I need this one and this one. Why did I take into the night? I'm so dumb. Open wound and uh, this one, this one, and then uh, uh, this one, and uh, 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 yes. Jokes on you, I'm still stunning you. <laughs> You're still dead. So now this time I'm using boots and then zoom over there. She keeps taking the chest. Isn't it? Then the XV. I was hoping for something better. Come on, game. Game, why? Allow well, none of my allies to do XV. <sighs> Which one's the better gold pile? All of them are the same. Okay. Get one adjacent ally on your face. But yeah, this arm, I can't do it. That is stupid. Oh. Victory! As the last of the creatures falls, the temple becomes eerily silent. You call out, but the strange voice offers no response. You begin banging the walls with your weapons and yelling even louder, making it clear that you will not leave without answers. Enough! The power of the voice shakes the ground. I could easily kill you, you know. But normally a threat is enough to send you pathetic lesser beings scrambling. I don't necessarily like murder, however. So I will make you a deal. I will answer a single question for you, and then you will leave this place without further incident and never return. So what would you like? Great power, great wealth, or is the location of the necromancer you are hunting really that important to it? We felt the pacifist, of course. I was kind of hoping to wound stuff and just letting them die by themselves, but you, you saw how crazy that scenario just now. Like, so many important monsters you need to kill early, otherwise, your friends are dead. I have no choice. But yeah, at least we actually did finish without items. It's not too difficult. Yeah, the do no harm is just so good. But yeah. Disarm and immobilize next turn, which is fine because technically you can heal yourself. 10 XP. Shrine of Strength. Lost Island. Necromancer Sanctum. So yeah. As the the thing said, which were like great strength, wealth, or the location of our target, we most likely will be able to locate where where Jack Sarah is. So I'm not sure if I'm not mistaken, Sanctum of Strength is like gives you EXP because you know strength, strength. Like give me items, wealth. We're already kind of rich. Don't need them. But yeah. See, Necromancer Sanctum. You found her. Now end this. I don't really care. Because I think get Hale to help you locate Jack Sarah. Basically, there's similar quests that will eventually lead you 
to Jack Sarah. But yeah. So I kinda want to do Lost Island. Not Lost Island. Oh ooh, Lost Island actually. It's just bears and vermlings. Wow, that's easy. But ooh, Victor, gain a perk. Because I remember she he has one perk. And because we finished that battle goal get two perks now we get the new one yes so yeah basically how rolling modifier works is if you pull the card you get plus two and then you get to pull another attack modifier let's say if you pull a plus two you pull another attack modifier card and if it's a let's say minus one then plus two minus one becomes plus one to attack damage but assume we roll with advantage Right. We roll plus two. We roll minus one. So we ignore the minus one and we get plus two. And if we get plus two and get plus one, combine them together, you get plus three. But if you're attacking with disadvantage, like what we saw earlier, we pull a rolling modifier stun. And then we roll, we pull a plus zero. So the only thing that counted is the plus zero, not the stun. Now, if you're, you know, something like attacking with advantage, no, disadvantage, you pull a plus zero and a plus two, you, you ignore the plus two and just get plus zero. Like that. It's, yeah. Basically, disadvantage, you pull two cards and you take the weaker one. So, yeah, that's a rolling modifiers. Like, for example, if I get rolling modifier plus two, Rolling modifier stun, and then you get minus one. Then you ignore the stun, ignore the plus two, you only get minus one. That's how disadvantage work. But if it's an advantage, then you count everything. Plus two, plus stun, plus one, pl three damage, plus stun. Wow, that's awesome. So yeah, it's cool, but... Uh, I kind of want something like plus two better wound is good heal plus three heal replace plus zero with plus two this is good nah, why not uh, what else can we do before we go yeah I guess we'll just bless my thief again Ooh, she has a lot of money now, which means we can enchant. Uh, let's see, hidden daggers, 100. Oh yeah, uh, we need the, where's the hidden daggers? 120. Uh, smoke bomb, I guess. Yeah, also 100 gold. Uh, we need a lot of gold. Attack thirty five. Yeah, Op open wound poison. Yeah, we, we just really need that strengthen. So, yeah, I'm just gonna save money to get strengthen. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's it. So, yeah, this video has gone long enough. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and next time we will try and do that one the sunken treasure one with the bear and the wormlings because it looks easy so yeah take care my shinies i hope you i hope you have a great night bye bye